then. Now, acknowledge me. You can't see me forever. Together. Welcome everybody, we are here in Cardiff, Wales for the first ever pay-per-view of the new era clash at the castle. As I was trying to speak over the pyro, it is absolutely electric in here tonight with thir over 30,000 strong packed to the rooftop here in Cardiff, Wales. As I do have some news featuring our Raw General Manager Randy Orton as he tweeted today that he is very pleased we were able to completely sell out Cardiff City Stadium for the first premium live event. But with that though, he said he is equally as disappointed he was not able to be here live and in person. But he says we we will understand soon and but also he says to make up for it the production team have made new championship designs which that is going to be awesome we got a brand new United States Championship brand new cruiserweight championship brand new tag team and especially for the gauntlet brand new world heavyweight championship but here we go the first match of the night here comes the United States champion Logan Paul now Logan Paul repping the red white and blue repping the John Cena type shirt the champ is here is Logan Paul a very controversial figure here in WWE so far and very very kind of diverse when it comes to our raw general manager he said he wanted to give everybody a clean slate you know despite Logan beating him at WrestleMania he said he wanted to give everybody a clean slate so he did Logan Paul did not show up Randy Orton's first night so Randy what he tried doing what Randy tried doing is he tried setting him up an open challenge for episode two Logan defeated Kevin Owens and speaking of Kevin Owens I am getting word here that Kevin Owens actually missed his flight he missed his flight so he is not here in Wales so I guess we're just gonna have to sub in mr. John Cohn the special referee the exclusive referee to Monday Night Raw as here comes the man who attacked Logan Paul on episode just two weeks ago. Tommaso Ciampa. Now Ciampa, he attacked Logan Paul two weeks ago, like I said, in which it was a very, very brutal attack. Logan Paul the following week decided to take out his anger take out his frustrations on Johnny Gargano leading leading to this match right here Tommaso Ciampa has the opportunity of a lifetime to face Logan Paul for the United States Championship Tommaso you know some may say that's a heelish sort of act but Tommaso he did it to the right person he did it to somebody everybody hates and Logan Paul so as of right now as of right now, Tommaso, he said he wants to wake everybody up. He said he wants people to understand just how dangerous Tommaso Ciampa really, truly is. And that's what he, we're going to be showcasing here tonight. Let's see how dangerous Tommaso truly is when you're going head-to-head, one-on-one against Logan Paul. But Tommaso... As of late, he has had a bit of a spark, a, reignite, a reignition with the new era. Starting to feel like old Tommaso. After splitting away, splitting DIY, both going their separate ways, Johnny Gargano having a Cruiserweight Championship match later on tonight. Tommaso, both members of DIY have found themselves in key positions for Clash at the Castle, but... If you want to see SmackDown's pay-per-view, No Mercy, it will be premiering this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as, oh, that is the brand new championship design for the United States Championship. Whoever walks out tonight will be holding that very title, walking out of Wales, going back home. 
Alrighty, I'm very, very excited. As here we go, Tommaso Ciampa and Logan Paul. Mr. Cone, let's ring that bell. As here we go. Oh, Logan Paul laying in these strikes early. Logan definitely has a bone to pick with Tommaso, but Tommaso is not letting him get that DDT done. So he grabs a hold of him, sends him into the corner. Ooh, club and forearm. And now spins around and clubs him in the back of the head. head. It's Tommaso Ciampa. Said he's playing mind games. He's been getting in Logan's head. Oh, and a stomp to the midsection of Logan Paul. Logan, he defeated Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, like I said, not here tonight. But so far in the new era, Logan Paul has had one match. Tommaso Ciampa has had none. As a, oh my goodness, a massive DDT. Tommaso, cover hook in the leg. Not even a one count. Logan Paul not going to let up that easily. Not going to end his championship reign that quickly as we are trading blows here. Going tick for tack. Punch from Champa and a chop. And another. Oh my gosh. Oh, Logan Paul trying to fight back on a discus clothesline. A discus lariat. Taking Paul down. It's to Champa driving the knee to the lower spine of Logan. Champa goes to the top. What's he setting up for? Big knee. Big knee clipping the side of Logan's head. He might have missed that just by a hair. Didn't get it all. It's Tommaso. Last time these two were together, Tommaso was moonsaulting. All the way down to the our commentary table. It's Tommaso hits another DDT. Tommaso Ciampa hits another DDT onto Logan Paul. Is Logan. Start, could kiss that championship goodbye as an arm bar from Champa, but Logan rolls through, has a hold of him, and spins Champa around. As Logan Paul completely missing there, Champa, oh, spinning him around just to hit him with a forearm. Champa, oh my good, deadlifting power bomb, and now Champa massive, massive knee. Holy cow! Tommaso Ciampa is ensuring Logan Paul is getting concussion here tonight. So we are spilling out to the outside. Tommaso slamming Logan's face on the apron on the corner. Oh, okay. You, you, hey, we're getting shades of two weeks ago. Tommaso, no, there's no reason to be taunting like that. It's, doesn't matter if you're destroying the United States champ or not. Champa goes to the top rope. This time, elbow to the middle of the back. An elbow to the middle of the back. Let's see if that's going to be it. One, two. Logan kicking out at two. We're already, if Logan Paul, it, that was already a two count, what's going to be like here soon as Logan, knee, or Logan, elbow to the knee, I meant to say, as he lifts him up and he drops him on the top. The top turnbuckle pad as Logan goes through ropes, comes back, splash on Tommaso. Logan, okay, you have you got one move in. You got one move in. There is no reason you should be taunting right now. As Tommaso has a hold of him and DDT onto the mat. A DDT onto the mat as cover. Hook in the leg. One. Two. No. Paul kicking out. It's Tommaso. Really, I guess showing everybody just how dangerous he is, and that is just an absolute fact. Dude, he has been laying it into the United States champion. Logan Paul has only gotten, what, a couple of moves in? A couple of strikes? But one serious, serious professional wrestling move is an elbow from Paul. Paul has the opportunity to turn this match around. Drop down. As he back body drop his cover. Champa's leg is underneath that bottom rope, too. Champa is able to kick out. Luckily, John Cohn wasn't paying attention. Logan! There was no reason for that. No reason for that. Tommaso is eating you alive in there as a German suplex. Tommaso Champa eating Logan Paul alive in this ring. He's lighting him up with these strikes. Take down. Taking him down. 
There's a stop to the forehead. A stop to the forehead. And Ciampa kicking the dust on off of his feet. There's a clothesline sending Paul to the outside. Spilling down to the outside onto the concrete floor. We are we are implementing the no mat rule here at Clash of the Castle. See, spins around. No, oh, fighting to the side of him. Just making the outside that much more dangerous. Straight onto concrete, something you won't see at SmackDown. Logan. Finally turning this match around as he keeps the stompings on him and another splash. Logan Paul, this has been his main thing, is the splash. As, oh, going for it again. Really wearing down Champa. I mean, all, you know what? All to you, Paul. All to you. If that's what's getting the job done, do it. Keep doing it. But sooner or later, Tommaso is going to realize that you're just going to keep spamming it for essentially spamming it. Champa making it into the ring as Logan taking every second he can. He is getting the work put on him. And now he needs every single second he can as, oh, knee. And now, oh, guillotine. A guillotine locked in on Paul. A guillotine locked in on Paul. Will Paul tap? Will Paul tap as Logan gets the legs off of him as he gets off of him? Paul has the opportunity but gets caught with a chop. And now a backbreaker. A backbreaker is Tommaso calling for the end here. What is Champa doing? As he goes top rope. Oh, I thought he was going to jump from there, but he wants him up. The DDT once again. Champa loves that DDT as four times a Sean too. No, Logan Paul kicking at it too. Logan Paul kicking out at two as he makes it to the corner there. Champa was watching on, clubbing blows to the back. This time Paul catches him, and now he hits him with a club and blow. And now, oh, he's trying to he's trying to pop the arm out of socket. That'll definitely turn the tables there as he has a hold of him. Oh, what the hell? He flips him around. Lifts him up and plants him on his face. Logan Paul, the innovative offense. Holy cow. The innovative offense by Paul. As, oh my gosh, Buckshot Lariat. Buckshot Lariat to the outside. Logan Paul, the innovative offense from Paul. Has to pull everything he can. The Buckshot Lariat to the outside. Turning Chip inside out. Paul, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. A submission hold, submission hold locked in, trying, working on the neck there. The injured, formerly injured neck of Champa. So he lifts Paul up. Champa. Uh oh. Dropping him on the knees. Dropping him on the knees as cover hooks the leg. One, two. Paul stays alive. Logan Paul staying alive. Calm the Bee Gees. He's staying alive. Champa. Champa furious with this as he trying to work that leg of Logan as I believe Logan's actually busted open here. I believe he's busted open as Champa driving the knees into the gut. Logan rolls to the outside, but Champa is right there. Tommaso is right there. Sends him to the ropes. Leapfrog. Drop down. Belly to belly. Champa needs to take that breather. He needs to wear down the United States champion. Whoever walks out, walks out with that beautiful new championship design as crossbody taking Logan Paul down on the outside. Taking Paul down as he's stomping the chest in. Stomping that chest in. I do wonder how much different this match would have been by the Luthez. Luthez, I wonder how much different this match would have been if Kevin Owens was the referee. How much more one-sided would this have been? Because Champa, for the most part, has been killing, murdering Logan in there. Oh, he missed him there as Logan gets the opportunity, sends him into the ring. And now Logan on his feet. Logan on his feet, taking that breather. He needs that breather or Champa. 
you know, if he didn't get that breather, Logan, Logan taking the turnbuckle pad off, but Champa gets a hold of him, he's saying, I don't care, that's, that's okay with me, as he hits him on a DDT onto the hardest part of the ring, as he says that's it, he says that's gonna be it for the United States champ, the Maverick, as he drives him into the post. Champa is relentless here. Tommaso is relentless and he wants Goldie. But smart smart thinking on Tommaso. He is not gonna get Goldie if he gets a count out victory. That's why he's diving on a clothesline, taking him down. Clothesline taking Paul down. He has a hold of him. Sends him into the sends him into the stairs. The steel steps. It's Champa. The referee getting higher and higher. We need to get back into this ring here. We want a definitive winner. Although at this point, I feel like Logan wants to get that count out victory. I feel like Logan Paul has taken so much damage here in this matchup thus far. T Logan, there's no reason. Well, I don't know what. I don't know what makes Logan. Maybe he's got been dropped on his head too much, just like that. But I don't know how in the world this cover from Champa. Oh no! Oh, it's kick to the side of the head as Champa rolling to the outside. Logan, what's Logan thinking? Logan, oh another buckshot lariat turns him inside out. Another buckshot lariat turning Champa inside out. Logan Paul has has turned the tables real quick. Has turned the tables real quick. As he has a hold of him. No, oh, planting him on his back. As you can see, that left side of Logan Paul's face turned into the crimson mask. As Logan fighting back here with those elbows. Laying in these strikes. Remember, Logan Paul, a former boxer. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Floyd Money Mayweather. Oh, both missed. Both of them missed, but Logan, these strikes. These strikes, for a long time, he was training for those specific strikes. So you know how much damage they actually do as he hits him with an elbow, and now he's looking to stomp the arm out of Champ once again. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, Logan. Logan Paul trying to make up for lost time. The lost time that Champa was doing all this to him. See, oh, he sets Champa up on the top rope. And Logan Paul, power slam. It's cover, hooks the leg. One, two, no, Champa staying alive. Tommaso staying alive in this contest. Logan Paul has turned the tables, like I said, real quick as Logan, what are you doing? Logan grabbing a steel chair, steel chair. Is Logan going to try? If he hits Tommaso, that's game over. That is match ending. As Tommaso is ensuring that does not happen. As he hits him with a knee. And now Tommaso driving that same knee into the back. Is the referee taking away that chair? What's, what's Logan grabbing? He's grabbing brass knuckles and he clocks Champ over the head with it. Clocking Champ over the head with the brass knuckles. The referee was taking out the chair. As Logan Paul retains his championship. What in the world? Logan Paul, the only way he was able to retain there was the brass knuckles. Logan Paul, you scum of the earth. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Come on, man. Well, don't even. Get down. No. I like what you see? Tune in Friday nights at 6 p.m. over on the Superkick Theory YouTube channel for Friday Night Smackdown and more Universe Mode action. Alrighty, now after watching Logan Paul defeat Tommaso Ciampa, here we are for the second match of the night. Which, to be fair, this this Clash of the Castle pay-per-view is only three matches, so we are going, but the gauntlet match is essentially six matches and one. So the middle of the road match of the night is the cruiserweight 
championship match between this man, Ilya Dragunov, and the and Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, but Ilya Dragunov, Ilya, actually, he defeated the Hall of Famer Ray Mysterio and the rookie Wes Lee to earn himself this championship match. Winner will walk out as the inaugural cruiserweight champion. But Ilya Dragunov, you know, technically, his home country, UK. The UK, we're including the entirety of the UK as Ilya Dragunov. He has home court advantage over Johnny. But my, oh my, what a match this is going to be. Ilya and Johnny both had a strong voice of words between each other. As Ilya said, you know, you you had a full-blown match against Logan Paul. You can't beat me at 100%. What makes you think you could beat me now? Ilya Dragunov is the man to take out Gunther. Take out his UK championship over a thousand days as UK champ that man right there was the man to end it but here comes Johnny Gargano and Johnny Gargano actually Johnny defeated Santos Escobar and Ricochet in his triple threat qualifier to be in this match but if you like what you see, that Johnny Gargano gear, the Scarlet Spider suit, you can actually download this in every single gear that I have made and arena and show everything on Community Creations using the tags that you just saw on your right. Tommaso Ciampa dressed in the Venom-inspired gear. We got Johnny Gargano in the Spider-Man-inspired gear. A Johnny Football, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny whatever moniker you want to add to it. Johnny said this is the first stop. The first stop. And then he, he said he's going to use the Cruiserweight Championship to go to the mid-card title, that United States Championship, or I see. And then he's going to use that to go to the World Heavyweight Championship. As here's a first look at the Cruiserweight Championship an updated version of the old one back in the 2000s. You have to be 205 pounds or under to compete for this championship held by one John Cone. Alrighty. Here we go. We're getting this match started. Ilya Dragunov. Johnny Gargano. These two. Let's go to war, folks. Oh, Ilya, lighting him up with these strikes early on. Lighting the strikes up early on as he hits him with a doomsday. Spinning Saido. Spinning Saido from Ilya is now watching Johnny trying to figure things out here. Trying to loosen up a bit. Loosen that arm a bit as Ilya getting fired up here as Johnny goes. And springboard DDT. Springboard tornado DDT by Johnny as Johnny already looking for the cover. Hooks the leg. One. Two, no, Ilya Dragunov able to kick out. Ilya Dragunov kicking out, and that was a very, very big scare. If Johnny went off of that, what would have that have done for Ilya's credibility for later on? As Johnny drop kicked to the side of the head of Ilya. Is Johnny getting the UK crowd up? Up off their feet is Johnny Organo driving that knee into the home country boy of Ilya Dragunov, former NXT champion. These two, a suicide dive from Johnny, but these two have had similar career paths in a way of Johnny Gargano, a NXT alumni, one of the strong NXT superstars that carried that brand for the longest time, then eventually being taken over by that torch of Ilya Dragunov. And now NXT, neither man both men just so happen to collide at the same time of the new era as these two are going back and forth as strikes galore from Johnny Football. I say Johnny Football, but we are here. Professional wrestling, Johnny Wrestling. But Johnny Gargano, as 
I said last episode, or I said last match, that Tommaso can't win the championship if he were to get the count out, but that does not mean you can't win the championship here because there is no champion, therefore there is no championship champion's advantage here. So you can win by any means necessary, disqualification, anything. is a stomp to the back of the leg of Ilya. John Gano really putting in that work as Ilya trying to fight back here. Ilya fighting back here. His clothesline taking Johnny down. Ilya, another clothesline. Getting pumped up. Sweeping the leg out from under Johnny. And now Ilya. Trying to fight back here. The dragon. Johnny said he's going to slay it. But I, that's going to be a hard, a hard thing to try to overcome there. Is Johnny Gargano. Johnny goes to the ropes, comes back. Face. Oh my goodness. I replay here as you can see Ilya punch oh, off the map, pulsating in blood. Out the gate as Ilya rolling to the outside. Johnny has made a cut uh, right above the right eye of Ilya Dragunov. His Dragunov bed chop taking Johnny down as he is looking to give Johnny as much pain as he can. Johnny sends Ilya to the ropes. Drop down. Oh, single leg. No. Shot missed. Four on from Johnny. Johnny. Ooh, spinning kick. And now slice bread. No, dice bread from Johnny Wrestling. Johnny. Going off the ropes. Tornado DDT once again. A tornado DDT once again. Johnny Gargano, actually, I think he might think he's Spider-Man with how much high flying he's doing. Johnny Gargano, not really the high flying type, but this thus far in this matchup, I feel like he's been inspired, per se. From the gear he's wearing, is working on the neck. Johnny Gargano is so versatile, as you have been able to see thus far. Johnny Gargano high flying, I guess. Johnny has a coup de grace this time it connects. It missed on Logan Paul, but this time it connects. Let's cover one, two. Dragunov kicks out on the neck of time. Oh my goodness, I thought that was going to be it. I thought that was it. Dragunov gets back up to his feet, but Johnny right there once again. Johnny Gargano not letting Dragunov let up for a single second. As Johnny oh, was looking for Gargano to escape, but shot from Ilya. Ilya sending Johnny into the ropes. Oh no, Johnny able to take him down. The technical wrestling coming into play here, helping Johnny in cases that he needs it. But Dragunov, oh, big knee. Dragunov with that knee is now, he is trying to work on the limbs of Johnny. Very smart maneuver here. You know, Johnny, especially that left shoulder, the left shoulder of the ribs. Johnny is obviously in a world of hurt. It's a big chop. Punch, no. Punch from Johnny. Chop, no. Punch from Ilya. Punch. Once again, here we go. Going tick for tack, just like I said last match. Here we go. Round and round we go as a massive chop. Chop to the chest. Here, let's get a closer look at this as a slow motion cam as, woo, my goodness. My goodness. Johnny crawling to the corner. Zillian like using the boot to choke the hell out of him. Using the boot to choke the hell, taking Johnny down. Like, Johnny, Johnny has been at 100% on the gas pedal. This entire match is another chop from Ilya as he goes to the skies. Dropping the knee, no missed. Johnny was able to move out of harm's way. Johnny moving out of harm's way as he sends Ilya down to, goes to the ropes, comes back. Oh, kicking the side of the head. The side of the head, right where that cut is at. Right where the cut is at is Johnny has a hold of the back of the neck. What's Johnny thinking? Johnny sends him, sending him. Is Johnny Gargano lifts up Ilya. Lifts up Ilya's a lawn dart. Lawn dart to Ilya Dragunov. A lawn dart to Ilya. One, two, three. Johnny Gargano. Cruiserweight champion. The inaugural cruiserweight champion. Um, 
Congratulations, Johnny Gargano. What an upset that was. With how much talk Ilya was having, it makes you think, is he okay? As you can see, let's get a closer look at the lawn dart cam. Just boom, right then and there. I wonder if that even knocked out Ilya, potentially. As here we go, the gauntlet match. As all we know, we all know who is coming out at number one. This gauntlet match was set forth by our Raw General Manager, Randy Orton. And the following participants, Roman Reigns, John Cena, Gunther, Drew McIntyre, LA Knight, and Braun Breaker. Coming out at number one, Roman Reigns. He lost to John Cena in the main event of the opening, the Raw after WrestleMania. He lost to John Cena, giving John Cena his first victory in over half a decade. Keep that in mind, half a decade. Roman Reigns just lost to him after losing to Cody at WrestleMania, losing the championship. He's looking to regain gold around his waist. Regain gold around his waist as the bloodline seems to be crumbling out from underneath of him. Jay leaving months ago. Jimmy being drafted over to SmackDown. Solo Sokoa on free agency. And Paul Heyman, he was talking to what he says is Braun Breaker. Therefore, we have no actual proof that it was Braun Breaker. But Roman Reigns' bloodline is crumbling out from underneath of him as Roman Reigns. Here we go. Roman Reigns coming out, coming in at number one. I'm sure he has a lot, a lot on his mind. I'm very interesting to see who is going to be coming out at number two. Who's going? Because I will say this: whoever comes out at number two is just is in just a bad a position as Roman. But the rest of them have been randomly drawn in the back, randomly drawn in the back. As who is coming out at number two? Who's going head to head against Roman Reigns? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, number two is Gunther, the Ring General. The Ring General Gunther making his way down. As he is number two, he and John Cena had a war of words a couple of weeks ago. Or no, just this past Monday, I mean, sorry. Which he defeated, nearly defeated, Bobby Roode, the returning Bobby Roode, in which he was busted open. You know, Bobby Roode gave him a run for his money. Gunther now has that chip on his shoulder. And if I'm Roman Reigns in the middle, across the ring from Gunther, that terrifies me. That absolutely would terrify me. But actually, this is quite funny. This was a dream match between the two as they both don't have their championships anymore. But two of the longest reigning world championships are he, IC champion Gunther at the same time. An unbelievable dream match many wanted to see. But now, now, this means everything. Now there's the world heavyweight championship on the line. In which that World Heavyweight Championship getting a new design. So here we go. Roman Reigns, he also said, he also told Paul, he told Paul to get Solo at Clash of the Castle. So we'll see if Solo comes into play here. There's a massive chop from Gunther. And now taking Roman down off of his feet. The ring general Gunther. He's going to try everything he can. The sooner this match can get done, the sooner... The next match will start. The, both these men have a long way to go to even reaching the World Heavyweight Championship. They have to go through each other. Then, what, four other opponents? Absolutely, absolutely a gauntlet. If you're in this gauntlet, you want to draw number five or number six. Number six, ideally. As Roman said, come on, as I chop, gives him a chop. And another one, and a third, but Roman blocks it this time. Roman, 
I'm sure he's regretting saying bring it because Gunther just brought it. It's a punch to the forehead of Gunther. Punch to the forehead of Gunther as Roman is hyping himself up as a drop kick. Roman Reigns has that chip on his shoulder. Over a thousand day reign from Roman Reigns. Ending at WrestleMania. If he can if he can win this whole gauntlet, that's put up some right back on top. That puts him and gets that Roman Empire right back. Seems like everything was going wrong for Roman as soon as he lost that championship as Gunther. Like I said, actually, this is Gunther. Gunther here in the UK. The last time both these men were here, both of them walked out. As the victor, Roman Reigns defeating Drew McIntyre, who is in this match during his 1,000 day plus reign. And for Gunther's Intercontinental Championship reign, he defeated Sheamus in what was match of the year. As Roman, oh no, gets caught with a clubbing blow to the back. As Gunther telling him to get up. Oh my. What? As Roman, Roman is severely pissed off now as a clothesline, jumping clothesline from Roman Reigns. Roman. Holding the one up to the sky is a massive drop kick from Gunther. Massive drop kick. Roman has no clue what just came over him there. He was throwing the one up to the sky as he thought Gunther was staying down. And Gunther showed him otherwise. Gunther showed him otherwise as now we are at a standoff. Once again, but chop. No. Collar elbow. A chop from Gunther. Woo! Another one. Speaking of which, Gunther said he refuses to let John Cena win that 17th time world championship. Oh, big shot. What the hell? What? Solo Sokoa's here. Solo's actually here. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. Listen to his tribal chief. Solo's here. And John Cone's not paying attention. As a Samoan spike tuck on Gunther down. Samoan Spike taking Gunther down. John Cone didn't see the impact from Solo. He just saw Solo outside of the ring. Maybe it's causing a distraction. As Gunther gets up before Roman can pin him. He's dazed and confused. There's Roman with a jump and clothesline. Cover. One. A what? A one count from Gunther. A one count. Roman reigns. Roman Reigns is setting him up. Jumps to the outside and takes him down. Let's get a replay on that. It's Roman Reigns seeing it from the hard cam view. Over that top. Roman Reigns, a 250 plus pound man. Just leaping over the top rope like it's nothing. That may be something he has over Gunther. The athleticism. But Gunther with a chop. And another one. And another one. Oh my gosh, Gunther. Gunther turning his chest into, into freaking ground beef as he sits him down. My goodness. This has been an action-packed night. We have seen the retain of Logan Paul. We have seen the brand new both the United States Championship and Cruiserweight Championship now being held by the inaugural champion, Johnny Arcano, but an elbow drop as we are headed into this gauntlet match. This is the first stop. There's four other competitors in the back just eating, biting at the bit to get in here. Another angle as I, oh, I'm going to drop as you can see. Just how impactful that was to Roman Reigns. But Roman Reigns getting back up, getting recovered that quickly as drop kick. Oh, my goodness. Roman Reigns was looking for something, got caught with a drop kick there. Gunther has all of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's telling Roman to get up. And now Gunther has a hold of him. Lifts him up. Power bomb cover of the leg. One, two, Roman. Roman staying alive. And now a drop in that knee. Drop in the knee. Gunther has to figure out what he has to do to put Roman away. Roman Reigns has been in this position for the longest time. Roman Reigns has been overseas. He has been the guy for a long time. He knows that pressure. He's not letting it get to him. 
Oh, slap to the face. A slap to the face by Reigns. Roman not taking them chops anymore as he lifts them up, plants them on the mat. Roman. Roman. Oh, Gunther getting up. Roman has not been able to have Gunther stay down just yet. I'm sure he's been looking for that Superman punch or spear, but Gunther just refusing to stay down. What's going to take to get this man as a boot over the top, sending him to the, straight to the outside? They both bump into each other this time. Roman Reigns able to recover quicker. As a hold of him, and oh my goodness, a suplex. Modified suplex from Roman. Oh, and another one. So you're going to get that three-piece. That three-piece would be great as a headset. But both men are laid to waste. And look at that. Look at that. Gunther was starting to move. Was starting to move before Roman. Even. After just taking three modified suplexes straight. Gunther got up faster than Roman. Drop kicks. Taking Roman down. As Gunther thinks Roman's down. Roman getting back up to his feet though. Punch. A punch to the back. And now Oh, guillotine! Guillotine locked in! Trying to wear Gunther down! Trying to wear Gunther down! This is the perfect, perfect time to do it! Perfect time to do it! It doesn't take much energy out of Roman, but it takes a lot of air and circulation from Gunther's. Gunther throws him off! And now, another drop kick! Taking Roman down and out! As you can see, a close-up. You can see a close-up of just that grip of Roman. Strapping the legs around and the arm. So he has a hold of Gunther, but Gunther fighting back here with those sharp elbows to the side of the head. It's Gunther with a look. Oh my goodness. Those, those chops. Those chops. Later tonight, we're going to have to see an Instagram post by Roman Reigns just showcasing the freaking chest. Seeing how torn up it is as Gunther laying in those punches. Laying them in. He lifts up Roman. Oh no. Oh no. Roman was able to reverse it there. Roman reversing it. An elbow. A forearm from Gunther. Bum sends him to the ropes. Comes back. Spear! Spear by Reigns. Spear by Reigns as cover hooks the leg. One. Two. Gunther. Gun kicking out at two. Gunther kicking out at two as Roman Reigns goes to the top rope. You will not normally see him go there. Woo! Shot from Gunther. Gunther needs a breather here. Needs a breather here. Roman Reigns has been going at him for a long time. Keep in mind, there are still four, four other participants here in this matchup. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my, oh no, Roman. Caught him, no, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Big meaty men slapping meat. As one biggie would say. As Gunther lifts up Roman once again. Power bomb. Cover. One. Two. No. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns kicking out of not one but two power bombs thus far in this match. As Gunther with a massive chop. Roman Reigns with a chop of his own. He ain't taking this anymore. As Roman with a punch. Another chop. Gunther with a chop of his own but a punch from Roman. A chop from Gunther. Punch from Roman. Chop from no punch. Another one no punch. These two are behemoths are going back and forth. This is Goliath versus Goliath. As Gunther sends him into the corner. Two of the very best on Monday Night Raw European uppercut. The ring general versus the tribal chief. And I mean the real tribal chief, not Jimmy Uso. That delusional idiot. It's Gunther. Has a hold of Roman. Oh no, Roman. Roman fighting back here, sends him into the ropes. Oh, forearm, Gunther. Oh, this time he goes to the top rope. Goes to the top rope, Roman right there though, as Roman throws him off of it. Very smart by Roman. Not trying to lift him out of nowhere. 
as Roman Reigns with a stomp to the face. Kick from Gunther. These two just will not give an opening to the other one. As Gunther, Gunther setting up. Third, power bomb. Cover hooks the leg. This has to be a one, two, three. Gunther winning the whole thing. First round, the first match. I can't even say the whole dang thing because Gunther, now he needs this breather as we are getting ready for the third participant to come out. It's Gunther, I'm sure very ecstatic he got through Roman Reigns, but he still has four other people if he wants to win that World Heavyweight Championship. Let's hope Gunther didn't go through too much of his energy there as who is coming out at number three. Oh! L.A. Knight, yeah! The mega star, L.A. Knight, coming in at number three. After that match, you have to like L.A. Knight's chances. You, you have to like L.A. Knight's chances. After that match, Roman Reigns and Gunther. But this is prime position for Gunther. Roll out to the outside, get that breather. Get the breather, get some ice, get some water, whatever you need while the other participants are making their entrance. It's LA Knight versus Gunther Knight. This is still, still very difficult because after this match, after this match, there's still three other participants. Three others. So if LA Knight could pick up the victory against Gunther here, if he could pin Gunther. He still has to go through three people, so your chances are better than Gunther's. To be fair, they are better than Gunther's, but not by much. It's Gunther. I feel like he's back and ready to go as LA Knight. You have to, like I said, you have to like Knight's chances as Knight has to get the ball rolling as he is. He is keeping the pressure, trying to put this away early, landing all the strikes he can, wearing down Gunther as much as more as he can. And Knight sending him into the top, driving the forehead into the top turnbuckle. And now, oh, oh, onto the mat. This Knight. Knight has to keep the pressure on. That's what this is at this point. Keep the pressure on. Try get the fast pin. Try, try keeping this man down for three seconds as a massive drop kick. Massive drop kick from Knight. And he goes back to the well, keeping them strikes going. Keeping the strikes going because especially those strikes, I think that's probably is what keeping Gunther in this is he just did a lot of chops. He did a lot of chops, he had some drop kicks and such. But the main thing was striking. And striking, it doesn't take that much energy. Knight is witnessing that firsthand. It doesn't take that much energy, but also, also, it helps and it hurts them a lot. Is Knight with a European uppercut. A European uppercut into this corner. And now, oh, this is another, another brilliant move by Knight. Keeping the face on the mat is a big punch from Knight. Cover, is that gonna be it? Gunther just had a 20 minute, just had a 20 minute match and if you saw the shock on Knight's face, Oh, you don't want to go into a chopping fest with Gunther. That first chop, Gunther woke the frick up. He woke up and another elbow. See, he's getting ready. He is fuming right now. As Gunther, Gunther lifts him up. Power bomb. His cover hooks the leg. One, two, Knight kicking out. That is not a good look. I'm sorry, that is not a good thing for Knight. One power bomb. And Knight was almost down for the three. Gunther just had a 20 minute match. Gunther, I don't believe he's human, to be fair. Gunther. We need to keep Gunther away. And I'm glad he came in at number two because we need to keep him out of that World Heavyweight Championship picture because if he wins the thing, he ain't letting go of it. We have seen that multiple times. I think his two only championship wins in the WWE both of which, the first one was the UK Championship. Over a thousand days as Knight Cover. Hold that thought. Oh, no. Only a one. Oh my gosh. Um, and then and then the United and then the IC, the Intercontinental Championship. Over 500 days. So Gunther, I think, 
if he wins this World Heavyweight Championship, that that's not a good thing. This is our best bet here. This is our best bet. Is dropping him not right down. I'm sorry, it has been a very, very long night thus far. Very quick, high-paced action, though. As Gunther with an elbow. Elbow to the top of the head is cover. One. Only a one count in that that time. If you guys have ever been trained in the by any professional wrestler, hooking the leg is the best way to get all your weight down as he lifts him up and plants him right down. Cover. This time hooking the leg. One, two, three. Gunther going through night. Night night. To LA. It's Gunther. Just went through Roman. He just, just went through L.A. Knight. Now, who is coming in at number four? Whoever comes in at number four, prime, prime position in it is the badass Braun Breaker, number four, which means we only have two people remaining after this man enters. Braun Breaker, I must add. Braun Breaker one young son of a gun extremely talented extremely vile but let me just add he has never never been overseas for a wrestling match broad breaker let's let's see if this when the lights shine the brightest will broad breaker rise the cream of the crop like macho man would say Randy Orton has taken a liking to Braun Breaker. He said he sees a lot of potential in this kid. And that he wants him in this match. He just had to beat a 20-year-old veteran. Little did Braun know, oh, and all of us know, he had to go through our truth of all people. So Randy Orton, I'm playing some mind games with Braun Breaker. As Braun. Randy said, let's see if you got that dog in you. The wolf dog. One half of the wolf dogs. Being split up. Braun Breaker, entrant number four. What this would do for a career of Braun's. Braun's, at the very beginning, his first PLE, winning the World Heavyweight Championship, that does wonders for someone's career. As There we go. As Gunther, Gunther not wasting any time. He wants to save as much energy as he can. Powerbomb, cover, one. Oh, only just barely a two. One power bomb, just barely a two count. As Gunther sent Braun up, lifts Braun up and plants him down. Is that going to be it? That's what put Knight away. One, two, what? Braun Breaker. I I don't know what I don't know what to think. I I I. I I, 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 I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Gunther is a monster. We need, we have John Cena and Drew McIntyre left. We need one of these men to put him away as you see here. Just how much impact Gunther lifting him up from the heavens above. Planning it down. Shaking the whole goddamn ring. As here comes the fifth entrant. John Cena's. Hey, I. This isn't our typical Cena. The leader of the chain gang. John Cena's here. Cena's here. Clash at the castle. You could feel the electricity just booming. Booming as the GOAT arrives. Looking for that 17th time championship reign. John Cena and Gunther this past Monday had a war of words between one another. It's John Cena, like I said, looking for that 17th time. Gunther telling him, no, he is not going to let John stain the wrestling industry, taking the most world championship reigns out of anybody. Ric Flair's record, as he is currently tied with. Ric Flair famous for his chop, but Gunther also famous for his chop. He's looking to keep that reign alive for Flair. Let's go. Cena and Gunther. 
we're gonna have to we're just gonna have to see these two go at it we're gonna have to see these two go at it so here we go John Cena and Gunther in the ring Gunther said he had a feeling about it and damn it he was right let's go Gunther has beat Roman Reigns as her can run from Cena he has beat Roman Reigns at a 20 minute match defeated LA Knight in a 5 to 10 minute match and then ran right through Braun Breaker I feel like the longer this match goes on, the more powerful Gunther gets. So, oh, massive knee to the side of the head. There's another one. And a third. Third massive knee is a shot from Gunther. Gunther loves turning people's chests into ground beef. You can see some of the crowd signs bleeding like a stuffed pig, because that is what Cena did. Episode 1, Cena knows... Cena knows what it takes to win a match here in the new era. He knows exactly what it takes to win a match in the new era. As John Cena was looking like a freaking stuffed pig. He was, he was bleeding like a stuffed pig. So he lifts him up. Standing sawing suplex from Gunther. As Gunther. Home, home crowd advantage, I guess. Especially against Mr. America. Mr. Hustle Loyalty respects John Cena. The leader of the Chang Gang. I'm interested to see if, if the Chang Gang overpowers the UK crowd here. Cena has a hold of Gunther. Now Cena driving him into the top. The top turnbuckle is Cena. Sends him off. And Cena, Bulldog taking him down. A Bulldog taking him down his cover. Will that be it? One, two. Gunther, a two count. Now it really does seem like that this is starting to pile in on Gunther, but then left up sitting now. Power bomb from Cena. We still have one more person to go, and that is Drew McIntyre's a monkey flip from Cena. Monkey flip from Cena as he is ready to go. The leader of the chain gang in his prime as it looks like Cena is reaching a second prime here. Defeating Roman Reigns who has been the guy for almost a decade. And now he is going toe to toe against our generation's beast as an elbow drop. Our monster in Gunther as Gunther. Moves out of the way and hits him with a suplex, a modified suplex on the concrete floor. We're no wusses like SmackDown, keeping the padding on. As Cena sending him into the ring. Every move on the outside does more and more damage as Cena. Actually, Cena lost to Drew McIntyre by via countout. Scooter. Loving that Cena has taken his good old time as he is able to take as much breathing air as he can. But Cena, Cena, oh my goodness, a strike, strike from Gunther, punch from Cena, punch from Gunther, punch from Cena, no punch from Gunther. Here we go, train blows back and forth, and now clothesline taking John down, taking John down as he rams the back of his head into the mat. Gunther. One dangerous SOB. Out of the hold of John. As he ripping. Oh, goodness. Almost taking the nose clean off as he drops Cena. Cena just taking a full back bump from about five feet in the air. Cena rolling to the outside. Gunther right there, though. John the veteran, but Gunther going in there with everything else over John. The only thing John has over Gunther is longevity and, and the, oh my goodness, I had to commentate on that one, but, and he has the fact that Gunther has had three matches so far already tonight. Gunther trying to rip the nose off of John. So he sends him into the steel steps. Are we going to get a count out victory? That would be ideal for Gunther. That would be ideal for Gunther. I mean, maybe not actually. Maybe not actually. You would want that definitive win against the GOAT John Cena. Count of seven. John laying out on the floor. It's Gunther. I think Gunther actually might want this. Count of nine. 
It's John. John barely makes it back into the ring as the referee just held up the 10. As he was so giddy because he just barely missed it against Drew McIntyre during the two open challenges. Cover one, two, Cena. Cena kicking out at two. Gunther, let's take a closer look at this power bomb from earlier. That sit out power bomb just showing how much John Cena, the strength of Cena, how much it really takes into effect. As Gunther, the ring general, the leader of Imperium, but John, the leader of the chain gang, fighting back here. The leader of the chain gang, John, fighting back here. Looking for that 17th time, because if he can win this 17th time, World Heavyweight Championship, that means so much for him. That puts this pay-per-view in the book, or not pay-per-view, premium live event in the books. But having our six of the top superstars in WWE today going head-to-head -to -head in a gauntlet match at Clash of the Castle, that, that already cements this whole thing. As Cena has a hold of Gunther, DDT on the Gunther. DDT on the Gunther as John, John going to the top here. Going to the top. Leg drop sending the sending Guther's head into the mat. A leg drop sending Guther's head into the mat. As John, the strength, the strength lift and deadlift and Guther up and he flats him down. Deadlift and Guther as a kick to the back. Come on, John. Come on, John. This is our best opportunity to get a Guther out of here. Stomp to the back of the arm. And I truth be told. Truth be told, I love, I love Gunther, but we cannot have Gunther have another monstrous reign after just ending his other one. Five knuckles shuffle as cover. One, two, no, Gunther staying alive. My voice, oh my goodness, it has been a long, a long. John? Cena? Cena with an avalanche attitude adjustment from Cena. Can Cena capitalize? Can Cena capitalize? Here we go. Come on, John. Cover. One, two. No! Gunther kicked out in the nick of time. Gunther. Gunther's a monster. Get him out of here, John. I don't care what you have to do. My good. <laughs> oh, I had to get up out of my seat. It's John with an elbow drop. John Cena with an elbow drop. As I had to get out of my seat even. And a belly to belly suplex. I don't know what this is going to take for John to put Gunther away too. Oh. oh. I thought that was going to be it. Gunther has gone through three matches. An avalanche attitude adjustment. The biggest move John could think of. I'm trying to think. Is Gunther lifting Cena up and plants him. No. No. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, come. Cena's legs are obviously underneath the rope too. Cena. Cena, let's go. There we go. Come on, Cena. Gunther. Gunther fighting through. What a story it would be if Gunther can run the whole gauntlet. That's another knee. And a third knee from Gunther. A third knee from Gunther. As, yes, let's take a closer look at this avalanche attitude adjustment or FU. Depending if we're going full old school with Cena here. An avalanche FU. But here we go. Gunther with a super kick. Gunther going to the top. Gunther headed to the top as a massive splash. A massive splash of Cena. Cena has a hold. Oh, diving clothesline. Springboard clothesline from John. Springboard clothesline from John as he's looking for something, trying to wear down the leg of Gunther. Trying to wear down the leg of Gunther. Chopping him like a tree. Chopping him down just like that. If you can take out those legs, it's exactly like a tree. As that's a splash from John. Cover. 
Cover hooks leg. One. Two. No. Gunther kicking out. I don't know what John has to do. I have no clue what John has to do. As bear hug. Bear hug. Is Gunther going to tap? Is Gunther going to tap? Gunther. Cena keeping the grip though. Oh. Cena finally letting go as his ears started to ring from that clap. But Gina, John, DDT, DDT from Cena. He turned that, he turned the power slam into a DDT. There's an elbow drop. It's in the middle of the chest of Gunther. We are, we are four matches deep. We still have one more to go in this gauntlet as John. John, SDFU, an SDFU from Cena. Cena trying to make Gunther tap. John Cena making Gunther tap the number five entrant. There we go. You love to see it. The leader of the chain gang finally ending Gunther. But I think I think that despite despite Gunther not winning the gauntlet, I, that obviously puts him. As a massive threat, probably the number one threat, as here we go, the final match of the night. Here comes the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, who wants to right his wrongs in his home country. He Last time he was here, he got screwed out of the undisputed championship against Roman Reigns. But Drew McIntyre... wants to finally capture that world heavyweight championship as boom my goodness my goodness the flames I could feel the heat all the way from down here although maybe it is just that 20 minute war we just watched between Cena and Gunther now Cena was able to put away Gunther he was able to put away Gunther, and good for him. But even better for Drew McIntyre, because Gunther did not go down without a fight. John is in a world of hurt right now. Oh, I'm sure of it. It's Drew McIntyre. This, this is his calling. This is his time. John Cena, Drew McIntyre. Here we go, and this is the first look at the World Heavyweight Championship. Whoever wins this match walks out with that around their waist or over their shoulder. Send it back to the United States with it. Here we go, Cena trying to amp himself back up. As it is all for the World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go. Final match of the night is a clothesline from Cena. Clothesline from Cena. A Cena drop kick taking Drew down. Taking Drew down to his level. Out the gate as a clothesline missed. D Drew was able to get a hold of him now. Lifts him up and plants him down. Just like that. Stopping John in his tracks as cover. John Cena out the gate. It's John. John taking the punishment to Drew. Taking the punishment to Drew as is now a back body drop from Cena. Kick to the back as here we go. John just lost to Drew McIntyre. The, but it was not a definitive win. John Cena, it could have been argued that he made it in, in time. As this. Like, I didn't, I haven't been able to mention it. But the final fall in the gauntlet is actually an extreme rules match. It's an elbow from Cena missing. An extreme rules match. And I know, I know you're going to be disappointed. As, oh my gosh. Spine buster. Cena hitting the back of his head onto the apron. I know you're going to be disappointed. I didn't mention that this is an extreme rules match. But guess what? I'm sure you're going to be happy that it is. As these two men, we don't we need a definitive winner. We need a definitive winner. We're not gonna have the same 10 count. 
as last time as John goes to the apron. He's looking to grab a weapon. He grabs a trash can as he chucks it towards Drew. Chucks it towards Drew as not only did Drew eat the metal off the trash can, he went face first into the concrete floor. Face first into the concrete floor. As John Cena with a code red. That back landing perfectly onto the concrete. As Cena has a hold of Drew, but Drew fighting back here. Drew, the Scottish psychopath, fighting back here. As Drew having a hold of Cena, sends him scraping. Talk about a concrete burn. I said every single time you land on it, it hurts, but every single time you even scrape. If you get thrown away and you slide on it, that even hurts worse because that's a burn. That's a burn, and guess what? That means everything you do is going to hurt despite adrenaline. It's just going to sting, and it's going to be even more pain as a belly-to-belly -belly suplex from Drew McIntyre. A belly-to-belly -belly suplex from Drew McIntyre as McIntyre... Send and Cena with another concrete burning, scraping the skin off as Drew, oh, perfectly aligned as a clubbing blow to the chest of John. Drew, we're going around and around this entire arena. Drew McIntyre kicking John's ass. See, as a hold of John, lifts him up, power bomb. John Cena just went through a war with Gunther. Drew McIntyre is just essentially another Gunther, but a power bomb. Or spine buster, I shall say. From Drew McIntyre's Drew. Drew looking to get a weapon here. So he grabs a sledgehammer. John. Oh. John Cena just after all the punishment was not able to capitalize quick enough but this time he does with a crossbody taking Drew down. Letting go of that sledgehammer is John with an elbow. An elbow to the top of the head. And now he sends him into the ring. John sending him into the ring as he looks to grab a weapon here. A steel chair. Steel chair. This is not the first time a steel chair has been implemented at Clash of the Castle here tonight. It's Logan Paul early on actually implemented it. Drew McIntyre has a hold of Cena. Oh. Oh, I have a close-up camera of it. A clubbing blow is a kick to the inside of the leg. And now headbutt. Drew McIntyre. Not letting not letting Cena have a single second to breathe. Attacking every single part of Cena's body. And Cena, he's getting up there in age. Truth be told, he is getting up there in age. He is what? Mid-40s getting close to 50 he cannot be taking this for too much longer so every single move he takes could be shedding years off of his career as drew once again caving in the chest of john drew sending cena into the post sending cena into the post as he has a hold of john lifts him up and power bomb to the floor. Drew McIntyre really trying to make sure that he walks away as World Heavyweight Champion. As Cena with a massive punch to the jaw. Cena with a punch to the jaw. Clamming him down on the concrete floor. Trying to fight back here. Throwing shades of Super Cena. Super Cena, if you're young enough, good. Good. Because despite Cena being a fan favorite for a long time, he was hated. He was hated because despite everything he took, he still fought back. And you know what? That's all just on Cena. That's all just on Cena. With recent years, he has not been able to do that. Like I said, he had a span of over a half a decade losing one-on-one -on -one streak. As I'm sending him into the post once again. It's Drew. Grabbing another weapon. Weapons galore. Table this time, though. Table being brought into the mix this go around. Is Drew sending it into the middle of the ring? Oh, a few, a few from Cena. 
attitude adjustment onto the table. Cena, oh, rolling through. John rolling through. And another attitude adjustment as cover hooks the leg. One, two, no, Drew McIntyre staying alive here. Let's get another look at that. As an attitude adjustment right on that metal. On the metal that stabilizes the table. And another one. The scene is setting that very table up into the corner. John setting that table up into the corner as he sends Drew McIntyre into it. Is Cena, Cena gonna put Drew through the table? Is Cena putting Drew through the table? He lifts him up and plants him with a powerbomb through it. Powerbomb through the table. Here we go, a different angle. A boom, shattering under the pressure of Drew McIntyre. Oh, are we getting an even closer angle? Beautiful, just shattering. Shattering pieces of wood flying everywhere as the crowd here are loving it saying this is awesome and it is indeed because it is all for the world heavyweight championship it is all for Watts to be put on your back and it's all for the popularity the fame to be called the guy on Monday Night Raw as John has been there before Drew McIntyre was there for ever so slightly during 2020 as he wants to win that championship in front of the crowd. As he sends John into the ropes. Missing the kick. John missing the kick. Now this time. Spine buster onto the chair. Spine buster onto the chair. Is Drew chasing Cena. Making the chase toward Cena. But Drew changing his mind. Changing his mind. I feel like he might have a better approach to this. Take it. Taking that extra second. And now Drew lifts up Cena. Oh, just a toss him onto the concrete. Just to toss him onto the concrete floor. This is brutal. Oh my goodness. It is difficult to watch here, folks. As he sends Cena into the ring. Sending Cena into the ring as Drew implementing another table that did not go so well for him last time as John put him through it but now Drew Drew has the opportunity to do the same but a spine buster from Drew McIntyre as he is getting his home country fans behind him laying in these punches on John laying them in it's all for the world heavyweight championship a stomp to the back of the ankle as he's saying come on bring it wait what the hell? Who the hell is that? Hit some other. Go to sleep? Who the hell is that? Um, hello, production team, let's go. Come on, we have a World Heavyweight Championship match. Righty, we're back here as John Cena. After Drew McIntyre might be getting screwed here, I'm not too sure, but Drew got hit with a GTS by a mystery man, and now John Cena lifting Drew McIntyre up, and oh no, oh no, John, John Cena to close out the gauntlet match. Un unless Drew kicks out Avalanche, F you, is John Cena cover, hooking the leg. One. Two, not like this. Three, John Cena. John Cena wins 17th time. World Heavyweight Champion. I feel like that's a sign right there. Cementing the nail in the coffin. That that's gotta be punk, right? Nevertheless, thank you all. John Cena, congratulations. 17th time. That is not an easy feat. Going through the gauntlet, defeating Gunther, then defeating Drew McIntyre. Both, both absolute brutal matches. It's John Cena winning that 17th time, surpassing Ric Flair's record as he did it with this very move right here. This very move right here, the Avalanche F.U.
putting the final nail in the coffin. Drew McIntyre getting screwed once again. But thank you all for watching. Make sure you go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to watch SmackDown, you can do so over on the Superkick 3 YouTube channel this Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But thank you all, and have a good night.